what happens when there's no financial that just says market price for the property? Should he call and ask for the whisper price? Should he submit an LOI? Uh, and what he was asking too was like, what happens when that LOI is just nowhere near it? Yeah, he doesn't want to offend anybody, but again, you don't know the price that they're looking for. No, no. If you, if you see an OM that says most, a lot of them will say market price or, or whatever, you know, yeah, reach out to the, the broker and just say, what is the pricing guidance for this property? Right. Thanks for sending me the OM. What's the pricing guidance? And they will send you back what the pricing guidance is for that property um, from that standpoint. But in regards to the LOIs, um, you know, somebody can maybe an agent may send you uh, what the pricing guidance is. But in say, you know, you did request those underwriting reports on the property. You kind of see what the numbers are. You see what the sales comps are around it. I think there is absolutely nothing wrong with submitting an LOI that maybe it may be lower, you know, say it may be, you know, a million dollars lower or something on a, you know, on a $10 million property or $8 million or whatever. Um, but in there, you can let them know that this is based on, you know, the market research of the market of the comps of, you know, what the property numbers are looking like if they don't have them all in the in the OM. And that way they know exactly where you're you're coming from on you know why your why your offer is lower, right? Many times that will get a conversation started, at least with the other side. And then, you know, and then you can say, hey, you know, I'm I'm all about, you know, coming up with a little better price if I can get the actual numbers. Thank you.